Hey, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. Got some interesting developments over on the XRP weekly chart I would like to share with you guys, as well as a, uh, a couple other things today. David Schwartz is um, kind of live on some old, old 2017 Twitter posts making additional comments. I think it's quite interesting. I want to share with you guys. So let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. So first off, the way I want to preface this video um, is just notice how when XRP runs um, macro double bottoms, um, here, for example, we get the double bottom at like, you know, the sub 20 cent ranges. Look what happens right afterwards. XRP right here. Um, I think technically a lower high, but in, in this case, I feel like for a monthly chart, it's effectively a double bottom and XRP ends up printing all the way up to about a dollar here. So just understand how XRP, when, when there's double bottoms on the macro charts, it really, really does kind of come into play and it just starts getting things to, you know, begin happening essentially. So one thing on the weekly chart that I noticed is I noticed this formation um, going on with XRP right here. And I was, I, I saw this for the first time um, on live stream yesterday. And I was like, dude, you know what? I feel like I've seen something like this before. Like I was on stream, I was kind of freaking out. And I'm like, wait, hold on guys, hold on, hold on. Like, wait, I've seen this before. So you see how you have the XRP, um, the liquidation event, and then we have the big balloon up to, you know, 65 something cents, pulls back, liquidation event again, runs back for a double top, and then double bottoms right here, and then now is kind of printing um, kind of the third leg of this move. So one, two, three, and then this third leg right here after this, um, these two quick retracements uh, in succession that, you know, lead into a double bottom. And I'm kind of starting to speculate and I'll get into this a little bit more, how why I think here could be a massive, massive opportunity for XRP um, to break the 60 cent iron wall range, start getting to those pre-dollar prices, uh, given, you know, current market conditions, unforeseen announcements, RLUSD going live, SEC appeal window closing, yada, yada. So definitely a big opportunity for XRP here, but I want you guys to just look at this formation right here, okay? When you guys just look at this, and just kind of for five seconds, just kind of soak up what this XRP weekly chart looks like. Okay, just take note. So you have impulse, pullback, second leg, double top, pulls back in quick succession, double bottom, third leg, right? I've seen this with XRP before. And you might you might call me a little crazy here, but I believe this has happened on XRP weekly chart history in the past, which is right before XRP did the $2 run. And again, given, you know, current market conditions at that time, all that stuff, right? Because I think there's kind of is, you know, some serendipitous things that kind of have to happen for a beautiful XRP macro breakout, okay? Keep in mind that formation there. Look back to XRP here, okay? So again, take note. Liquidation event, impulse, pullback, impulse, pullback, third leg printing, right? Right, so right here, we had SCC lawsuit come in, absolutely nuke the XRP price. Impulse pullback, impulse pullback, double bottom, third leg printing. Look what happened with XRP here. Again, now, some people might call me kind of crazy, like, oh, Cobb, what, what kind of drugs are you taking? This doesn't look the same at all. But in theory, um, I'm kind of starting to believe that here and here are very, very similar moments in time. Like, for example, how um, on the monthly chart, I've always been telling you guys how I believe, um, you know, like here and then here are effectively the same thing, like phase five origin cycle theory, right? So, but we're kind of scrunching that down to the weekly chart. And I think we're really starting to see something here because over here, right, way more volatility because like this is not, you know, in retro and like in comparison is really not as volatile is what was going on over here. Like this was way, way, way more volatility. This is less volatility, but it's effectively the same kind of pattern going on right at the 60 cent iron wall level, okay? Which is right about, you know, there, give or take, you know, plus or minus a couple of pennies. But it's just like, it's the, the same level, right? The same price level, XRP is deciding to, in my opinion, kind of repeat this formation, which is the liquidation event, the impulse the retrace, the pullback, the second leg, it pulls back again in quick succession, just like it does right here. And then now the third leg is starting to print. So what if, just dream with me for a little bit here. 
What if right now, the moment in time XRP is in on the weekly chart, what if it is eerily similar to what is going on right now? I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying, guys. It's it's a little it's a little similar. Can we go double charts? I don't have premium on this account. Dang it. But fellas, it's like I honestly think right now with the XRP weekly chart, we do have somewhat of a correlation with the 2021 moves and the 2024 formation. Again, I'm going to repeat this one more time, then I'll get on the next subject. But liquidation event, impulse, pullback, second leg, pullback, third leg printing. Impulse, pullback, impulse, pullback, double bottom, third leg printing. So imagine like, I mean, guys, I'm just saying, I don't know. I might be a little crazy. I might be a little crazy here. But it's it's eerily similar, man. It's it's. I just gotta say, there's something there's something that's kind of speaking to me right now where this is the same sort of thing. Liquidation one, two, three, four, third leg printing, potentially big move here. Okay. One, two, three, four, double bottom on the retrace, double bottom on the retrace, third leg printing. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, could be something there, right? Now, let's, let's dive into this a little bit deeper because let's say if this was the same moment in time as this and this will end up being like the run for XRP, what else would that mean? That would mean that if that formation is doing uh, or ends up doing what I'm speculating, that would also mean that if that was to break out, that would be XRP monthly macro symmetrical triangle also breaking out, which happens to be at the very, very tail end and is just hugging up against that line in perfection. So if I'm if I'm correct about, you know, here and here being kind of a similar formation and history repeating itself, that would mean that if that formation I just covered with you guys on the weekly chart mirroring 2021, that would mean we'd have like a monthly three bar play macro breakout for XRP where XRP gets to, you know, finally breathe for once and kind of start dancing around in this region which as you guys would know, that would be absolutely freaking amazing if that could start happening again, right? Now, another similarity, um, don't quote me on this, but when XRP was doing what I'm focusing on this whole video on today, what was that? Uh, January 2021, December 2020, what was Bitcoin doing then? December 2020, January 2021. So when XRP was doing that same thing, where was Bitcoin at? It was dancing around slightly lower than the all-time high price. And fellas, what the frick is Bitcoin doing right now? Dancing below, slightly below all-time high price. So I'm just saying here, with the XRP Weekly and, and considering you know everything going on with Bitcoin and the XRP Monthly Macro Formations... If good old XRP wants to start playing in the pre-dollar ranges, this would kind of be a serendipitous XRP macro breakout, fellas, okay? So again, let me know down in the comments below. Um, am I talking nonsense? Am I, you know, being kind of crazy? Am I stretching here? Or do we have XRP kind of mirroring a previous formation, but at a smaller scale with less volatility, but at the same time upholding the weekly chart impulse double pullback double bottom and then the third leg is starting to print at the same time when bitcoin is slightly below all-time high prices i'm just saying i'm just saying i might be a little crazy but you know what I, bro it, same moments in time same moments in time xrp runs the same formation when bitcoin is doing the same exact thing as it was doing a couple years ago so again you guys let me know down in the comments below like, you know, hey, Cobb, you know, you're you're kind of crazy, man. I don't really, this doesn't make any sense. Or you're like, hey, you know what, Cobb, you know, you're onto something here that is kind of an eerily similar repeat, right? It's di different market conditions because we didn't have the lawsuit, you know, starting here. We had it starting here, hence the volatility being so crazy and the market conditions at that time. But then you got to really consider, um, yeah, the formations are, are different in sizes and kind of volatility, but it's effectively happening at the same time motherfucking level okay the same motherfucking level the same motherfucking formation fellas okay now i'm gonna get a little bit i'm gonna get this is gonna be my one little conspiracy part for the video um uh, this is kind of just me having fun but so this liquidation event back here 
uh, which I believe was, this is Japan stock market crashing, Israel-Iran tensions, World War III, fear-mongering by the media. Or maybe that was this back here. I can't remember, but at this liquidation event and then this one, I, I, I can't quite recall exactly what, like, what was going on in the world to make it the whole like crypto market crash. But anyways, so this liquidation event down here, um, it literally stopped. And again, I'm just kind of, you know, conspiracy a little, just having some fun with you guys. But where this liquidation event stopped, it stopped at essentially the old formation that I'm mirroring to you guys as being kind of a repeat. So it literally stopped right at like when the third leg on this formation started to print. That's where the last liquidation event like, you know, ended at. So I'm just saying, I don't know. I, I could be talking crazy, but... I really do genuinely feel like where we have XRP right now on the macro scale. I mean, I've been waiting a long time, but uh, this is, if it really wants to try, if it really wants to give it its all and really go for a breakout, uh, it kind of seems like right now is the perfect time. Uh, BlackRock, yes, please hurry up your XRP ETF. All right, so that's enough for the charts today. Now, on to some David Schwartz comments. Uh, I can't really provide too much commentary, but I just wanted to show this to you guys. So this is David Schwartz revisiting his famous post from 2017 saying, well, XRP can't be dirt cheap. That doesn't make any sense. If XRP costs $1, they need a million XRP, which would cost $1 million. If XRP costs a million dollars, they need one XRP, which would again cost $1 million. David says, I hold XRP. If there was some way I could get the price of XRP to go up, I assure you that I would do it. Okay, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay. David's saying this 17 days before the SEC appeal window closes. And they need to bring up new evidence in the court to reopen appeal. So I'm just hoping Gary doesn't see, you know, the Ripple CTO saying, oh, you know, if I could make the price pump, I would assure you that I would do it. And then they open up, up the case with this. I don't know. I don't think it's going to happen, but I, I just like, you know, just let's just hope Gary doesn't see this, okay? But yeah, he says, I hold XRP because there's all, you know, uh, where it says show more replies right here, it's just people like, you know, complaining about the price of XRP. And it's David responding saying, yeah, I hold it. If I could make it go up, I assure you that I would do it. And then he comes back again and says, in fact, in, in the same, you know, same famous tweet, he says, in fact, a lower price for XRP makes payments more expensive. This is why it was impractical to use Bitcoin to buy a house when Bitcoin was $100, but practical to use Bitcoin to buy a house now that Bitcoin is much higher. Lower prices for XRP make XRP payments more expensive. 604 XRP says, so you are saying the price of XRP is now expensive for payments and we should expect payments to get cheaper soon. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can get down with that. I can get down with that. All right. Last thing for you guys today, um, this just came out like about 50-something minutes ago. Bitcoin Magazine breaking. SEC approves options for BlackRock's spot Bitcoin ETF. Uh, I'm sure you guys know what options are. If you don't know what options are, um, it's like, you know, because when you're... Right, let, let's take XRP, right? So you could buy spot XRP and, I mean, there's not really that much risk. You're holding spot coins in an offline wallet. You're not really you know, putting yourself to that much risk. Now, if you leverage trade XRP, you know, you can customize the, uh, you know, the leverage. If you want to do like 2X, 5X, 50X, 100X, if the exchange lets you, and then like, basically you are incredibly, incredibly high risk. So options effectively, they're just like leverage, but they're even freaking more steroided and turbocharged because then you're, you know, you're, you're, um, you have a strike date in which the option expires and it needs to hit a certain price. So effectively, um, if you did want to mess around with BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF options, um, it's basically like a, think of it this way. It's like a fully customizable slot machine. You can customize the slot machine, everything you want to do, anything you want to change about it. You can adjust it exactly to your liking. So, um, again, yeah, dude, BlackRock XRP ETF. Hurry up, fellas. I, I would love to see an uh, XRP ETF from BlackRock, obviously. But one of the main reasons is because I really feel like the market would be blindsided and they would have like a concussion grenade thrown at them and just a flashbang. They're like, what? No. H how could this be? How could BlackRock do an XRP ETF before Solana? Like, I, I genuinely think if BlackRock just filed an XRP ETF, I think the whole market would just have their jaw dropping. Like, What? Like, I just don't think they would expect it. I really think right now no one is expecting a BlackRock XRP ETF to be filed. And that's... So it makes me even more bullish if it does end up happening. All right, guys. That's the end, end of the video today. 
Appreciate you guys tuning in. See you guys in the next one. Peace.